All right, here is my newest purchase. It's an Atherin Ready to Roll CF7. It's decorated for a fictional Troy and Northern Railroad, which was a model railroad or short line that they had. Um, it's pretty neat. It's number six. Uh, it's decorated for the 75th anniversary right there on the cab side as model rotor 75 years, which was a few years ago, as some of you know. So the story behind this engine was, uh, I saw, I've been having my eye on this engine for a few years. I saw it at my local Hobby Town USA hobby shop. It's the only hobby shop around the area. And I don't usually buy new stuff. I like to buy used stuff. But it was $74, which is pretty expensive for something like this, especially outdated with the uh, 75th anniversary, which was a little bit ago, a couple years ago. So I asked the guy, I'm like, hey, this engine's been here for a while. Is there any way you discount on it? He's like, at first, he's like, eh, I don't know. And then he checked it, the file on the computer. He found it was discontinued. He's like, all right, you know what? I'll give you 25% off because it's an, he found out it was an older engine, like I said. Um, and then, uh, so that brought the price down from $74 to a cheaper price. Um, and then uh, he was looking for the box because they have a display cabinet. He couldn't even find the box. That's how long the engine was there. So he's like, if you would take 50% off, you can take it out of here. So I only ended up paying about 40 bucks for the engine, which was really good price. I, I was expecting to pay, uh, I didn't want to pay retail, so if I didn't get a discount, I wouldn't want to bought it, but 50% off is pretty good. So, it's a really neat engine. has a lot of, uh, I love the cab on these things. A lot of people call them ugly engines. They just, they look cool. They're different. They're built, they were custom built engines by Santa Fe. They were used, they were built using retired F units. Uh, they made them in a switcher engines because with an F unit you have a wide cab up front you really can't see looking back when switching. Uh, has a brass S3L Leslie horn on it. Really cool prime beacon. Uh, yeah, let's run it on the tracks. Um, this engine actually has DCC in it. Um, I had a decoder. I haven't uh, an 8 pin decoder. I haven't had been able to find anything to put it in because a lot of my stuff's after from blue box. Uh, you know, not 8 pin equipped. But since it's a newer ready to roll, it has an 8 pin uh, harness in there, so I hooked up my decoder. I had this decoder I bought a couple years ago, about a year ago, for only, the guy wanted 4 bucks for it. It's a Digitrex decoder. Um, it's not the, D it's some Digitrex, I actually don't know the model of it. But anyways, it's hooked, it has DCC, uh, it's function number 6 on my Bachmann easy command system. So I'm going to push the function button, I'm going to turn the lights for you. All right, I should probably move here. This is the reverse lights, if I can. Pretty bright. Nice micro bulbs, really realistic. The front is really neat. Um, the beacon actually has a bulb in it and lights up. So, yeah. I'm actually going to get one of my friends to, uh, we're going to cut the wires to the beacon and wire it up as a fu separate function. And it will be a flashing beacon instead of on steady, like the prototype, like a real engine would. Let's see, beacon just comes on at the light. There's a separate bulb in the beacon. So, yeah, it's a really neat engine. It runs great. It's a little loud, but just because of the, the motor control on the DCC system. And I'll bring her on back. Yeah, she runs pretty good. Not the slowest speed performer, but pretty good. So, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have more videos up of my HO scale stuff here shortly. I know a lot of people like to see that kind of stuff, uh, as well as I do. So, yeah, thanks for watching.